Hello everyone and welcome back to Blitz Brigade. So what's going on right now actually is some of this footage that I'm recording right now is going to be for the next episode of the Thoughts Regarding series. Also, by the way, thank you guys so much for the support on that series. It's gotten more views than uh, than a lot of the Blitz Brigade videos as of late, so I really do appreciate that, guys. And I've seen a lot of cool thoughts in the comments section, so keep that coming, and I hope to replicate that uh, sort of discussion uh, in the future with the second episode. And the second episode is going to be about the sixth surprise. And I was originally just going to do a couple, uh, just record a couple games like right now and then do it. And then just by do it, I mean actually record the audio of it and make the video. But then I realized, why waste it? I'm sure there's some people out there that will want to see the games actually done. So I figured, you know what? This is like bonus footage. So the, yeah, the sixth surprise, I haven't really spent all that much time with it. Really enjoying the Q27 Predator though, I gotta say, that gun is probably my new favorite in Blitz Brigade just because of how powerful it is. It's got, I mean, you guys heard the stats, it is, out, it is incredible how powerful that gun is. Who's this? See, the one thing that keeps me, that makes me wonder about the Six Surprise is, uh, that audio, the audio cue. It would definitely be imbalanced, like, for sure. The only thing that would e that even causes me to think that this thing may be in some way slightly balanced is that audio cue, but I'm going to talk about that in the actual video. And in that video, I'm probably going to be comparing it to my other favorite secondary weapon in the game, which is Death's Hand. So we'll see how it lines up against that one. We'll see what people are saying about it, some of the suggestions, because it seems to me like nobody really knows what would make it a balanced weapon. Again, so yes, it, it, it's all it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff to address and I'm really excited about it. I'm I'm happy to have some sort of different content on the channel now. Because I have played this game for a long time and I kinda wanna start uh, uh, having more discussion. That's not That's a word. I lo I love how or is it a word? I love how malleable the English language is. Like if I say something and I don't draw attention to it, like you probably you probably wouldn't gotten what I meant. If I would have just continued with my thought and said I wanted I want to create more discussionary videos, videos, videos. You are so flexible. I'm sure I'm sure language or languages are like that too, but I am only proficient in the English language. I wonder which class I'm gonna. I I I'm thinking just to maintain. Ow ow ow. Oh wow! It points out where the enemy is when you get hit by their mines. That is actually something interesting. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> I'm writing this down. Alright, cool. I wrote that down because I actually didn't know that. I'll have to show that in the video because that's actually pretty cool. I wonder which class. I was going to say for continuity, I might just equip the Death's Hand onto the Demolisher. Although I kind of like the reload assist I think on the on the soldier there's that drum hammer but this is not going to be a drum hammer video not at all you're telling me his bullets curved around that corner what is this wanted wanted two wanted harder wanted more wanted even more than f first there's somebody it's funny how I think this gun has yeah see I knew he was gonna walk back into that I can't even tell what's happening I can't even tell what's happening. In between games, I'm gonna go turn off Chrome. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. So Chrome is efficiently, efficiently, uh, efficiently, officially <laughs> taken down. It's funny how I think this gun has like some sort of, uh, some sort of drop to it, but it really doesn't. It fires them pretty straight. This thing is more of a rocket launcher than a grenade launcher. Actually, I wanna test that right now here so I'm gonna aim at that container yeah there's no drop it goes directly it goes directly where I'm aiming Enemy team has taken the lead. and it looks like uh... yeah so it looks like yeah you can actually only have six on a wall at a time okay interesting sorry about that I'm just trying to figure I'm just trying to figure this one out because like I said I have it but I haven't really taken too much time to get to know it. This Q27 though, that Q27, I'm going to be using that so much unless it gets severely normalized. Oh, there they go. Do they? Okay, no, he's still alive. For a brief moment there, I thought Matt was dead and they persisted after death. That'd be an interesting way to get uh, afterlife kills.
But so far, I definitely like what I see. I mean, it's hard not to when this thing is so good. It's such a... It, this secondary weapon could very much be its own primary weapon. Like, its stats rival most things. Oops. What? I've only been back here once before, I think. I remember getting back there in a video a long time ago, and I was very amazed by it, just because I had never seen it before. Uh-oh, that was a bad time to reload. I got away with it, I guess. Only slightly. Only slightly. Everybody's using the six surprise nowadays. See, this is why it's the perfect time for, for a six surprise video, because there's a lot of there's a lot of people talking about this thing. Honestly, it doesn't seem too much different from other weapons, from other uh, quote-unquote OP weapons of the past. This guy... Oops. Oh no, I did the thing where I used the rocket jump in the air. That stinks. I kind of wish that you couldn't use it at all in the air, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have an effect in the air, but it still triggers it, so you have to wait for the cooldown. Champion. Oh wow, yeah, I got him all the way over there when he walked over. Let's just heal up and I guess we'll wait for Matt. There he is, right on, right on cue. I have a feeling he's gonna go on some of those mountains. Mountains? Wow, what is wrong with me? I must be tired. Or something. I that's the I keep doing that here. Once he pops up here. Let's just lay down let's just lay down a whole bunch of mines for him, because he's probably gonna come up here. Oh no. Just walk around, just walk around, Matt. Come on. Yes! Yes! I think I got him. I think I got him actually. But I didn't I didn't read the the report at the end there. Man, I gotta check out the stats. Oh, look, they do persist after death. Wow, that's really interesting. Very cool. This weapon has some very interesting features to it. What do you guys think? Is the, uh, naval port? I've never looked at that sign before. Is the Six Surprise your new favorite secondary? Or, or rather, perhaps a better question would be, is it your least favorite secondary now that it's around? I have to say that probably my least favorite part about it is just that it's so loud. Like, all the time you hear beep, 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 beep. You can't, get, you can't go through an, a game. You can't find a game without hearing loads of beeps anymore. Nice shot. Wow. <laughs> that, was, that was very, very good. Yeah, it seems like it seems like the meta is definitely changing a little bit. You're seeing more demolishers running around, and to compensate for the demolisher, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of gunners. But gunners are only so good still. Their their huge health can only do so much against it. You know, like when this much damage is being doled out at a time, there's really only so much you can do. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching this bonus episode with the Six Surprise. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to be doing another one right now with the, with the uh, Death's Hand too. Alright guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.